We propose the deep attribution graph, abbreviated to DeepRA, to measure the transferability of knowledge in trained deep neural networks. Driven by massive label data, deep learning has made remarkable progress in recent years. However, in many real-world scenarios, we often encounter the dilemma where limited data are available. In this case, we often transfer the deep model pre-trained on another data-rich task to resolve the current data-limited task. However, two problems are still not well studied in current literature. Firstly, given a large number of pre-trained models, which one should be reused to benefit the current task most? Secondly, with the pre-trained models, which layers should be fixed or fine-tuned to produce highest performance? The former is called the model selection problem, and the latter is called the layer selection problem. To solve these two problems, we introduce a rigorous definition of a transferability. Assume there is knowledge pool omega. In this pool, every item is a feature space produced by some layers of a trained model. The transferability of two knowledge items is defined as the ascending rank of f of i in omega for solving the target task. Here, the rank is computed based on the standard empirical risk. When the feature spaces in Omega come from different models, it can be used to solve the model selection problems. When the feature spaces in Omega come from different layers of the same model, it can be used to solve the layer selection problem. In other words, aforementioned model and layer selection problems are two special cases under the introduced definition. Computing the transferability directly is expensive, as it will consume a large amount of training time and label data. Here we aim to efficiently approximate the transferability. We argue two factors must be considered to estimate the transferability. The first one is the inclusiveness. For transfer to be successful, the feature space from the source task should be inclusive of sufficient information for solving the target task. The second one is the accessibility. The feature space from the source task should be sufficiently abstracted and easily repurposed to the target task so the target task can be well solved with limited human supervision. However, since these models are highly nonlinear and unexplainable, it's very challenging to measure their inclusiveness and accessibility directly. We propose DePara to estimate the transferability. To construct DePara, we firstly randomly sample a set of unlabeled data. We call this data set Proby data. DePara is constructed by feeding the Proby data to the pre-trained deep neural network. The nodes correspond to the inputs and are represented by their vectorized attribution map with regard to the output of the model. Edges denote the relatedness between inputs and are measured by their similarity in the feature space. As the pairs of different models or layers are defined on the same set of inputs, they are actually in the same space, and thus knowledge transferability is directly measured by the similarity of their pairs. The pair is evaluated in two aspects, including model selection and layer selection. On model selection, the experiments are conducted on trained models from taxonomy. On layer selection, the experiments are conducted on thin to real C datasets. For model selection, we compare the pair with its variance and the state of the art method, representation similarity analysis. From the precision recall curve, we can see that our method yields superior performance to these competitors. Furthermore, the DePara produces highly similar task similar tree with taxonomy. As the DePara requires no label data and is several magnitude faster than taxonomy, it's an effectual substitute for taxonomy. For layer selection, experimental results are shown on the right. DePara is able to select those layers which yield the highest transfer performance. Results of task wise similarity and layer wise transfer performance are shown in this slide. The task-wise similarity between DePara and Taskonomy is shown on the above. We can again see that DePara produces highly similar transferability results with that of Taskonomy. The layer-wise transfer results are shown on the bottom. Darker color indicates higher values. It can be seen that for layers which produce high accuracies, they are also of high similarities in DePara. These results imply that the similarity of DePara is a good indicator of transfer performance. For more details and the code, please refer to our paper and project page. Thanks.